Okay, welcome back all you RC addicts. Today I wanna to go over how to update your Phantom 3 remote control after version 1.3.2. The reason being is before in the early days of the Phantom 3, you updated through the USB slot, but once you get to 1.3.2, the procedure has changed. You can now update from this point forward through the DJI Go app. So today we're gonna walk you through it. It's pretty simple, but I know a lot of people out there are apprehensive, I guess you could say, about updating these things and they want a little walkthrough to show them exactly how. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the remote control being 50% charged or more, and we're going to connect our iOS or Android device to it via USB cable. Then we're gonna make sure we have the latest version of the DJI Go app, and then we're gonna go ahead and launch it, and then we can turn on the remote control. Now you want the aircraft to be off during this update. So make sure the, the Phantom 3 itself is off. Let it connect up on here. And we can go ahead and hit camera. And that'll bring us into the main menu on here. There we go. Up here, where it says no signal, we're going to go ahead and get the overall status. And that shows you right there that a firmware update is required. Now it tells you only about the RC, the remote control. It does not tell you about the, um, the aircraft itself. So we're gonna go ahead and download it. Let it download. And as you can see, it doesn't take too long to update or download the update. It's a pretty painless procedure. So at this point, just warns you, make sure it's fully charged, don't disconnect it, don't jerk around. Everything's up, is downloaded to the phone right now, and it's ready to put it into the remote control. So hit start. And it'll sound and act just like before when we used to do manual updates. So right now it's beeping as you can hear and the status LED in the far left of the remote control is solid blue. And what's nice, it tells you what your current version is and what you're upgrading to on there. And it's fully automated so it works out really well. Uh, from 1.3.2 on, like I said, this is how you're going to be doing the updates. Almost there. Now the status LED at the bottom left of the remote control is turned to green like before. And it tells you to reboot the RC, obviously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off, the remote control. We're going to close out of the software. Well, actually, you know what? We're not even gonna close out of the software. We're just gonna reinitialize the app to the remote control. And I'll show you how to check the firmware level. Now of course once it connects and we go to status up here, it should tell us, um, it shouldn't prompt us for an update. Signal, overall status, normal. So at this point what you can do is click out of that. Go over here, okay, go down to the three dots, scroll up, and go to about, and it will give you the current version it's reading for firmware level in the remote control. That's all there is to it. Very simple. Hopefully this helps.